What's up guys, Dustin McDangle's back here with another video and this is the NHL Be A Pro series with Dustin McDangle and if you guys actually missed the last episode I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner so you guys can take a look and check up on things and what happened with game number one in the Stanley Cup Finals against the St. Louis Blues. It was an absolute crazy episode, great game for the Rangers as Dustin notched a big time goal so go ahead and check that out if you guys are not caught up to date. But without further ado, guys, we're going to get into game number two of the Stanley Cup Finals and see if we can come away with a win. Here we are starting game number two, guys, as Puck is about to be dropped. And we are underway here in New York. We're up 1-0 here in this series as Derek Stefan looks to get into the zone. We send him to the ice and the, and the Blues have an early chance almost getting a nice little backdoor feed. As you can actually see, it should be... Perron on that wing, but uh, he was actually injured in the last game, so Stefan, former captain of the Rangers, is going to have to step up as we get around Tory Krug. Try to get around him, unable to do so. He's able to poke that off our stick. We're going to have to definitely try and push Perenko's side as he is the slower defenseman for the Blues. Big shot there out front, and we've got a step on the defenseman. We're actually tied up on the boards. Puck is taken away. As Panarin gets on sides, Dustin, we're going to take a shot. It's actually blocked in front there. Zabinijad ties up with the puck, and it is off the other way here. Coach is calling for a change. We're not going to go for it. As we're going to send Stefan hard to the ice there. As Panarin's going to find Dustin on an abbreviated breakaway. Ooh, we got the goalie moving there. We're going to move this down low, actually up the half wall. We're a little tired, and we're going to have to go for the change. What a big chance there to go up one. 8.14 left to go here in this first period. Again, solid first shift, I thought, from the boys as we've got an offensive zone draw here. First line out there with D'Angelo and Hainsey at the point. Draw is lost by Zabinijad as Nemestikov with it. Looking to get this thing in the zone. He finds Shen. We're going to send Shen to the ice hard. Panarin finds Dustin trying to get past Vince Dunn, but just unable to do so as we're going to try and win this puck off the boards. Here come the Blues. Dunn with the puck. He's going to run into the corner. Well, Shen with a shot. We're going to send him to the ice again. D'Angelo with it. Loses it for a split second. Dustin off to the races. We're going to get a spinorama around one. Going to cut back here. Dustin with a shot. Ooh, big time shot there. Just a bit high. As Dustin from the point. We're going to rip one there on net. And Marazica is going to hold on there. What a decent chance couple great shifts to start this game but nothing to show for it man so while four on four and maybe even on their power play they get two goals um, so we're down two nothing here 16 minutes still left in the second period so we're gonna have to try and get the next one if we want to make this a game here on or what I should say in, on Madison Square or in Madison Square Garden as puck there on the half wall lost there as Furlan tries to get that off our stick. Dustin trying to fight in here and win this puck. Puck is poked out. Dangerous opportunity is Nemestikov. Big hit there. Dustin, big massive hit on the play. Somebody's down. I don't know who that is, but in the zone is Zabinijad trying to get around one, unable to do so. But Dustin laying the lumber as Panarin trying to get a shot on target and is actually hit hard there. Dustin lays a nice hit there again. Panarin trying to find us. Dustin unable to get it as Stefan. He's trying to get the puck out. He does so. And Tarasenko moves it up through the zone. Merrill with a chance. Gets a shot. Blocked well there by Hainsey as he gets run well into the boards there. Dustin trying to get there and not going to be able to do so. So we got to go for the change. Starting off this period here on the power play, we absolutely have to score here if we want a chance to get back into this game as Zabinijad, he's going to lose the draw. Como, or Como, is going to send that down the ice, and Dustin off to the races here. Can we get past Perenko? Ah, oh, he just gets enough body in front of us as the Blues are going to dump that down once again. Going to glide here, get some energy back. Dustin through the middle. With a chance, we're going to blow by one. Dustin's going to go far side on Marazic. And a nice glove save there as Dustin again. He's going to take he's gonna take the penalty on the play as Komu is going to drop the mitts. We 
absolutely demolished somebody from behind there. That might have been Robert Thomas on the play, I think. As we're just finishing our check, it was Robert Thomas. He's injured, and Dustin's kicked out of the game. Wow, what a way to finish game number two. As Dustin is kicked out of the game. And this thing is definitely out of reach now. Going to simulate the rest of this one, but the odds of winning, slim to none. We lose 2-0, um, so we're actually going to hop into the next game here. Let's see if we can win one away from home, game number three. So let's hop into it. Here we are, guys, in St. Louis, Missouri, here at the Enterprise Center. We didn't really make a big impact last game other than getting kicked out. Sending bodies flying as Mrazek here. You can see his stats pretty decent here this playoff year as the Blues in their alternate jerseys look to take the lead here in the series. As just Sturkin down at the other end with pretty equal numbers as we're about to get this puck dropped and underway. And it actually looks like the Blues have Phil Kessel on their squad. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, as O'Reilly with an early chance gets a nice shot on target. Oh my goodness. The Blues right away get the goal. Tarasenko, that is a crazy good top line with O'Reilly, Kessel, and Tarasenko. That's going to be really tough here to battle with. I guess Kessel might have been injured, uh, but they get him back. Nice sort of tic-tac-toe. Tarasenko backdoor on the one tee. Chesterkin with no chance there. So down early here in this game. And we've got a lot to make up for here as we are down after the first shift of this game. Still 1-0 here in the first period. 11.09 left to go as we are changing on the fly. Komu sort of into the zone trying to make a play. He finds Merrill. Back to Komu. Shot blocked well there by the Sisterkin. And man, Robert Thomas, the man who we absolutely clobbered in the last game, finds a way to tap that one in for his fourth goal of the playoffs. And things are getting out of hand here for the Rangers as, ugh, man, easy feed there. Shesterkin not playing aggressive enough to maybe poke that or steal that away. Don't really know where the defense is. England, oh, man, we are just left to hang out the dry there, Shesterkin. We're down two now here in this game. And we, we better get one here quicker. This could turn ugly. Face off one by the Blues as Kessel with it now. We're looking for a big hit maybe to get the boys buzzing here. Kessel with it. He's going to dump that in deep. Dustin's going to be the first one there. We're actually poked there. I thought it was going to be a tripping pony almost. Zabinijad, he finds Panarin. Panarin trying to get something in the zone, but just really can't get any offensive pressure as Perenko is going to find O'Reilly. He finds Kessel. He's trying to dip to do into the zone. He finds it back to Perenko, though. Here come the Blues with it. Back door to Kessel. That might have been our man there. As we're going to try and throw the body around. And it does sound like Kessel was injured. Um, so here comes Dustin into the zone. Trying to get past Tory Krug. We're able to do so. Peel off here, Dustin. Cutting to the middle. Looking for a shot lane. Nothing's there. Works it over to Petrangelo. Who makes a good shot on target. Dustin out of the corner. Looking to get something going. Big hit there on uh, Perenko. Is Dustin trying to get a screen in front. We do a good job, but holy smoke, somebody just lit up O'Reilly as we go for the change. Here we are, guys. Start of the second period. It does look like we will have a power play opportunity. Still down two with a five-minute power play. So we've got a chance here to bring this game back to even and maybe even take the lead if we can get some good chances here. So Petrangelo is going to find Dustin. We're going to beat Perenko wide. Going to go short side on Mrazek. And he's able to hold on for the save, not able to elevate that as high as we wanted to. Offensive zone draw here with 19.41 left to go. Still early goings in this second period as we tried to come through there. Perenko able to get that. He's going to send that down. So we're going to work to break this out here on the power play. Zabinijad finds Dustin. Dustin trying to get the toe drag through Falk. And he's going to win that. Send it down the ice. That was a bad move on our part. As power play. Getting some wheels here. Panarin's going to find Dustin. In the zone. Dustin. Entering. Getting around one. Dustin. 
pressured. Still with the puck. Dustin. Looking for somebody. Oh, quick shot through the screen was Dustin. But not good enough to get that past Mrazic. Because we're going to hop off the ice here. And we're going to hope to maybe get one more chance here on this power play. And it looks like we're going to be able to do so with about two minutes. Maybe even 150 left to go as Coach giving us the tap. Trying to get us uh, to try and get a goal here. We're going to up the ante. Try and bury one here on this shift. Um, again, we need to get something here in this game if we want to get back into this thing and take a big win, first one away from home in these finals as we've got, doesn't say how much time we've got left here on this power play as Falk with it. He dumps that down off the backhand. Dustin with it. We're waiting for it, I should say. We enter the zone now. Dustin, out of the corner. We're going to look for the short, oh, short side OP. Nothing there. Still with the puck is Dustin. We peel out of the half wall. We're going to go short side and Mrazic all over us there as he holds on for the whistle. The real question is, can Zabinijad win a draw? We need him to tie up or do something so we can cut through here. And, of course, he loses the draw. Puck goes to Thomas, and he's going to dump that one down the ice. Break out here on the power play. Puck finds Dustin. We're going to try and go wide here past Falk. Out of the corner is Dustin. We're going to go short side once again. Still not able to elevate that for some reason. But Mrazic holds on. We've gotten plenty of shots, just nothing really too high quality. As we've got another offensive zone draw that, of course, Zabinijad's going to lose. And the Blues are going to dump this down here. Will they be able to kill off this five-minute major? It's Dustin. I called for the puck. I hate when that happens. You call for it as soon as you receive it and you ice it. That's just so frustrating. But, you know, it is what it is here. Defensive zone draws. Zabinijad with a chance to win it. Unable to do so. Big hit there. We are off to the races here. Can we make something happen here? No. Of course not. Tori Krug is going to dump that out. We're going to send a big hit on him, and the coach is actually going to make us change. So, <sighs> Wasted opportunity there on the power play as we are unable to score. Still down two with 10.35 left to go here in this period. And on the fly, changing. Ferlin getting into the zone. He's able to keep the puck. Find Stefan. Ooh, almost got the poke and go. It's Derek Stefan just missing a nice shot there. Here comes Dustin into the zone. We're able to get past Dunn. Can we make him pay? Out of the corner, Dustin. Ooh, nice poke there from Stefan. Who's ripped hard there on the half boards by D'Angelo. Hit hard there in the corner by Panarin. Dustin with a chance in the slot. We gotta make it. We gotta we gotta hit the net there. Because if we hit the net, that is going in a hundred percent. No way the goalie stops us there on that shot. But somehow we find a way to miss the net as we're trying to put the pressure here on Shen. Trying to get the puck off his stick. Just unable to do so. Can somebody come in? A third man, Panarin, does so. He loses that. Uh, Petrangelo stepping up. With a chance, can he go back door, do something? Tries to go short side OP. Petrangelo finds Panarin. What an absolute crazy play that was. <laughs> absolutely crazy. Petrangelo trying to stuff it short side. Just wasn't working. I don't know what their defense is doing. Uh, but we had a very good four check on there to keep the puck in the zone. Petrangelo finally comes to his senses, comes out of the corner, feeds that to Panarin, who sort of shades off, sort of back door there in almost the high slot area, takes a rip there in the side slot past Mrazic, and there's no way he's stopping that puck. So we get one goal back here. We're down one with five minutes left to go in the second. Here we are, guys. Third period action. Uh, we are down one with a chance to tie this game oh, and sort of make this make this a series once again it is still it is only 1-1 so we're not too worried if even if we aren't able to pull out with a win in this game but definitely want to uh, play good hockey here as Kessel actually turns the puck over there on us in the neutral zone Tarasenko is going to give it away Kessel wins it back oh my goodness O'Reilly with a decent chance there we're able to sort of hold him off as Shesterkin holds on for the whistle Defensive zone draw here. 18.01 left to go here in this period. Won by none other than the St. Louis Blues. 
and we're not gonna we we can't rely on Zabinijad here to win a draw to save his life. So just anything in the D zone or offensive zone when he's taking a draw, expect him to lose here as he does so once again. Tori Krug, and we tried to get there as fast as we could, but Zabinijad just not winning faceoffs is absolutely killing us. Goodness, I thought we had enough speed there. I had a feeling he was going to lose it, so we tried to get out to Krug as fast as possible. He's just quick enough to get that puck back door to Kessel, and he makes no mistake about it. Making this a two-goal lead here once again, and off the backs of Zabinijad, we're down two. 10.27 left to go in the third. We are down two. Defensive zone draw, and you can bet Zabinijad is going to lose this faceoff 100%. Out to the point, Falk finds Stefan. Holy smokes, that almost found the back of the net somehow, guys. Robert Thomas is going to find the point. Vince Dunn with it. He finds Stefan. Another backdoor feed. Our defense is just Swiss cheese here. There's Panarin on it. He turns it over to Stefan. Oh, man, this is just a crazy, crazy pinball-type game, as I honestly wouldn't mind getting tossed from this one, as things just aren't looking good. Panarin... Another turnover from Panarin. He he can't find anything through this neutral zone as the Blues trying to get this deep. Turned over. Terrible pass to Dustin as there was just nowhere for us to go. Zabinijad is going to find Dustin. Dustin in the zone. Oh, we lost the puck. There's just nothing we can do here, guys. We got to go for the change, but that's most likely going to be our last shift of the game if you really think about it with the time and our energy bar so low. And most likely the Blues are about to put in an empty netter here, which looks like is going to be the case. 12 seconds, like down 4-2. to two. Man, what a crazy turn of events here. This series completely turned on its head as this thing is completely turned around. We've got a 2-1 to one series lead for the St. Louis Blues, and that's actually going to be it for today's episode, guys. Um... Man, hopefully we can come back in the next one and maybe tie this thing up and take a series lead, but we got to turn this thing around and turn it around quick. I hope you guys have a good one, and as always, stay dusty.